The evidence is overwhelming that flying saucers are indeed real, that the Earth is being visited. Some of the evidence is in the form of photographs taken from all over the world of UFOs. Here's a picture taken in Salt Lake City, Utah, March 8, 1972. It's the fifth in a sequence of seven photographs taken by a professional cameraman. We can see an enlargement of it here with a region of what I think is ionized air here and some kind of ports of one sort or another around the edge. This is March 1972. This was taken near, Pencil near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The moon on the left, the object on the right, two witnesses, another witness across the street, pictures developed by the local newspaper, judged by a UFO group to be a responsible, respectable photographer, and a legitimate picture of a UFO. The biggest study ever done was the, or one of the larger studies, not the biggest, was the scientific study of unidentified flying objects, the Condon Report, done at the University of Colorado. Contrary to the coverage that was given this document, 30% of the cases they looked at could not be identified. This included excellent radar visual cases, sightings by three astronauts which remain to be identified. This makes a very good case for UFO reality, despite press coverage to the contrary. When you were talking about uh, the little green men, you didn't uh, hedge at all. You said they are. Uh, could you elucidate? Yeah, I didn't call them little green men. I mean, that's one, a notion that people use. Yes, there are hundreds of reports from all over the world from responsible, respectable people of UFOs or Earth excursion modules, as I prefer to call them, on or near the ground, accompanied by what appear to be their pilots or passengers, however you look at it. And they're humanoid-looking creatures. That is an arm, uh, two legs, two head, and a body. Uh, two heads and a body? No, a head, two arms, two legs, a head, and a body. Uh, much like us. That is, they're not the bug-eyed monsters that the science fiction writers like to talk about.